Good morning, W. Ross, and happy Friday. Today is Friday, November 17th, and today is a PM Friday, so if you haven't already, please head to your period three and four classes. Next up, we have Junior Report. Here is your weekly report from Junior School with David A. Neal's very own Rusty Russ and Diva Crispin. Good morning, W. Ross. Diva Crispin here with your Junior Reporters. First up, Jake the Snake. Thank you, Diva Crispin. This week, we had a very interesting episode in Survivor. It led to Mike being a target, but then it was a last minute considered Joe's guy to be voted out. And then it led to a tie in the votes, which led to a revote. And then it led to Sura's person getting voted out. That's it for Survivor. Back over to you, Diva Crispin. Thanks, Jake the Snake. Up next, Magic. This week, and and you know when we went to we went to Crocodoodle, we made Christmas decorations, we made ceramic, and we had fun. I'm a Magic McGonagall signing off. Thank you, Magic. Next up, we have Swiston. This week we played soccer, not a semi semi final game. We scored goals. This was a good opportunity. It's all about good sportsmanship. Next week's game will be the travel game. It's from home. Paris. Just to turn it off. Thanks, Swiss Ton. Now jumpin' Joe. Thank you, Diva Crispin. This is a joke. What do you call an angry monkey furious George? Ha 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 ha. Good one, Jumpin' Joe. All right, W. Ross, you stay classy. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Junior Report. That was a... Thanks, Neil Russ. This is an announcement from Student Council. Have you been wanting to try out a new look? Maybe act a little silly? Well, we've got the perfect thing for you. Join us on November 29th for Silly Hat or Crazy Hair Day. Either buy or decorate a silly hat or do a crazy hairdo. It's your choice. So, I'll see you on November 29th with your silly hats and crazy hairdos. Next up, we have Alex with the weather. Looking at, sorry about that. Looking at your Environment Canada weather forecast for today in Brantford, it looks like we'll reach a high of 3 degrees per travel day. And it'll be mainly cloudy. Winds will be out of the south at 20 kilometers an hour near noon. So a little bit of wind during today's travel, but shouldn't affect it too much. Tonight we'll go down to keeping at a same temperature as the high, which will be 3 degrees, but it'll be cloudy and rain will start to begin near midnight with 5 to 10 millimeters starting after midnight. Winds still from the south at 20 kilometers an hour becoming light after midnight. Temperature ri rising up to 7 degrees by morning. Currently it's already minus th is minus 3 outside but feels like minus 6 with that wind out of the west at 7 kilometers an hour. And looking outside is mainly overcast. And so the sun's trying to shine, trying to get through the crowds and Brain our days up, but it looks like it'll be mainly cloudy throughout the day. And for your long range forecast weekend, Saturday, a high of 11 with rains 15 to 25 millimeters, winds still in the south at 20 kilometers an hour, and they'll gust up from to 40 to 60 kilometers from the southwest later that day in the afternoon. Saturday night, low of two in rain. Sunday, mixed sun and cloud, and a chance of flurries. 30% chance of flurries, but it looks like it won't stay because it'll be a warm 2 degrees. But Sunday night, still 30% chance of flurries and cloudy and a low of minus 3, so the snow might stay overnight, but b by the next week, it looks like it will not be staying around for long. And right now, there's a special weather statement in effect for Brantford, as with all this rain this weekend, it looks like they're calling for up to 25 to 40 millimeters of rain. So, you may need some rubber boots this weekend. Anyways, just before I pass it back over to Lily, this is an announcement for all day students that please go to your period one classes before the end of the day, so your homeroom teacher, as you've got mail. Anyways, back over to you, Lily. Thank you so much. 
Alex, um, for your weather forecast, um, good long-range weather forecast. Um, I think I know what that mail is. Do the rest of you day students? That's all for your announcements. Everyone have a great weekend.